In the dazzling circus of American politics, Donald Trump has once again stolen the spotlight by effectively wresting control of the Republican National Committee, RNC, during this rollercoaster election season. Cue the dramatic music and dim the lights. Trump, the maestro of political theatrics, has personally anointed his daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, as co-chair of the RNC. It's like a family affair, but with more power grabs and less family dinners. But hold on to your seats, folks, because this spectacle comes with a side of financial drama. The RNC reported its worst fundraising performance in what feels like eons, sauntering into 2024 with a mere $8 million in its coffers. Trump's public spat with RNC chair Ronna McDaniel only adds more fuel to the fiery tensions brewing within the party. McDaniel, bless her heart, faced criticism for allegedly trying to nudge Nikki Haley out of the spotlight to clear the stage for the Trump show. Step aside, Nikki, it's the Donald's turn in the spotlight. As if that weren't enough drama for one political soap opera, former White House communications director Anthony Scaramucci has thrown his hat into the ring, suggesting that Trump's aggressive power play at the RNC might have less to do with political strategy and more to do with balancing the checkbook. Oh, the plot thickens. In this farcical tale of political intrigue and financial woes, we're reminded of the delicate dance between power, money, and influence in the realm of American politics. It's a spectacle worthy of Broadway, with Trump as the leading man and Lara Trump as his trusty co-star. So grab your popcorn, folks, because this show is far from over. Now, of course, if there's any potential to prevent a government shutdown, it's not McConnell or Johnson who will decide that. They will need to turn to the party's real leader, Geppetto himself, Donald Trump. And right now, Trump's concern has nothing to do with whether the government shuts down. He may actually prefer it, believing it will somehow help him in the upcoming election. Remember, he wants the economy to crash before November. And that is where his concern lies, not to become president to provide for the American people. No, no, no. It's all to save himself from accountability, from the 91 criminal charges that keep him awake at night. It's clearly driving him crazy. Just look to his low-grade Twitter knockoff, where he screams in all caps that all these fake political prosecutions must be immediately halted. And part of that is because he's also really worried about all those legal bills. And it's not just the tens of millions of dollars he continues to need to pay for his lawyers. There's also the matter of the more than half a billion dollars he owes from his civil judgments, including the fact that the meter is still running on his New York civil fraud trial to the tune of $114,000 a day in interest on top of the $355 million principal. That explains why he's so desperate to get complete control of the RNC, to help cover his legal costs. And to make that happen, he's pushing for Trump loyalists to run the RNC, including his own daughter-in-law, Lara Trump. And what you're seeing is the entire Republican Party rolling over for him. Even though he is a weakened candidate, as we've seen, based off his latest primary wins, where he has lost about 40 percent of the vote and faced problems not just with independent voters, but also with a large swath of Republican voters who are not willing to drink the MAGA Kool-Aid and who say they will not vote for him once he is a convicted felon. It's a problem that Trump may very well see again tonight in Michigan.